Hello everybody, uh, this is Dr. Zhan. I'm an internal medicine hospitalist and a prior medical researcher. Today, uh, I will talk about ongoing clinical trials for long COVID. Uh, for you, I have dug out uh, several current clinical trials for long COVID. Uh, these trials are ongoing, so it will take a while to have the final results. I will follow these re uh, results for you and provide you with the results when available. Uh, now let's begin. The first clinical trial uh, is a medicine called uh, Laromanumab. This is a monoclonal uh, antibody affecting CD4 T cells. Uh, phase 3 clinical trials has been uh, started for HIV and it inhibits a CD4 cell invasion by the HIV. Results are not available yet. But this compound also has been used to try to uh, treat severe COVID, but uh, was found to be not effective. Since it also has um, function to inhibit cellular immunity, now tests are ongoing for long COVID. The trial seems to be completed in August 2021. I haven't seen the results yet, so I do not think it's uh, uh, there is a breakthrough. Uh, success. The next clinical trial is a look at um, nicotinamide. Nicotinamide is also called NAD slash NADH. And it is uh, used for treating long COVID and uh, the trial started in November 2021. NAD is a coenzyme of a cell cellular metabolism. It helps to improve cellular function and uh, immune response. It can enhance metabolism, energy level, and overall health. It in turn helps reduce systemic inflammation. In a small animal study, NAD has been proven to prolong life in animal model. This is the drug I will follow closely. Another clinical trial is a phase two trial, and I look at the comp, uh, the product called RSLV-132 in long COVID patient. It's performed by Resolve Medical Center. The study used enzyme to degrade the viral RNA contained in the virus antibody immune complex. Its purpose is to try to make the virus inert. I personally do not believe the virus are still alive once it's bound to the antibody. Therefore, I'm not sure it's going to work. Next trial, uh, look at a, a product called Biarginin C. It uh, try to improve systemic inflammatory status and uh, endothelial function in long COVID patients. The product contains L-arginine and uh, liposome of vitamin C. So arginine is uh, amino acid. It helps to build up enzymes to clear up inflammation. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. May help reduce the effect of inflammation. The next trial look at uh, a medicine, two medicines their effect on long COVID. The two medicines active in trial, one is called apixaban, which is adequate. It is an anti-coagulation uh, drug, so frequently used in um, long clots and atrial fibrillation. Since COVID is considered a hypercoagulable status, this medicine may work. Another medicine in this trial is atorvastatin, which is a Lipitor. Um, Lipitor is known to decrease the bad cholesterol LDH. It also has excellent antioxidant effect. This trial may have some effect on long COVID. I will follow this closely. The next clinical trial, uh, look at, it's actually a phase one study, and look at one product called MPM. MPN is a novel biological drug containing a peptide and some small molecules 
to target multiple pathways in the immune response and uh, try to decrease the inflammatory disease. These ingredients work together to achieve an anti-inflammation effect to treat a variety of uh, conditions. It had been previously used in osteoarthritis and a respiratory illness, other inflammation diseases. Uh, this is the worst following the results. The next trial is called ADAPT-232 supplements in the effect for lung COVID symptoms. So I have a list of ingredients in the uh, slides I showed you. It's basically, these are herbal supplements. And uh, they try to see if this combination of herbal medicine can decrease duration of convalescence, a variation of fatigue, headache, attention deficit, and uh, also rapid respiration and difficult respiration, depression, anxiety, and other symptoms of lung COVID. So this is a combination of herbal medicine and worth looking at it. And this is my favorite uh, clinical trial, which I always believe that herbal medicine may play a bigger role in the future for lung COVID. Next trial is called the Long Haul COVID Clinical Trial. This trial look at uh, several different uh, unconventional, non-conventional treatment, including metformin, fleximin, and ivermectin, and their combinations. I do not know what's going to come out of it. Uh, the metformin, we know it inhibits mitochondrial respiration and can suppress inflammation. And the metformin actually prolongs life in animals, uh, including monkeys. And uh, flo uh, fluvoxin is an antidepressant. It's a selective serotonin uh, reuptake in inhibitor, which is FDA approved to treat obsessive or compulsive disorder, depression, and uh, may have a role in treatment of a long COVID disease. I do not understand ivermectin at all. The next trial, uh, look at it, um, another uh, medicine called AYT100, uh, also called diprofenadone. This medicine has a similar structure to uh, another medicine, which is uh, FDA approved to treat idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. It decreases inflammation and inhibits fibrosis. Uh, I believe this drug may hold a great potential, at least in uh, lung COVID associated with lung disease. These are the trials uh, or worse follow-up in the near future. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, all these uh, trials are used to target three major mechanisms of uh, injuries, which I have talked in my previous video. Uh, these are immune response to viral antigen, uh, which is immunocomplex, immunocomplex, inflammation, and oxidative damage. I hope some of them will work out as effective. In the next video, I will provide my own review about natural compounds that can achieve the bio effects. I believe that a single treatment will less likely to work, and uh, any product will have a good effect would be a holistic approach with combination of three mechanisms. Thank you for listening. Bye.